they come from various different star systems, which I won't go into because that's uh, a long, drawn-out process. Uh, some of them have our best interest at heart, and some of them do not. Okay. So there are about 70 that we're aware of. That would then mean that there are uh, very near 70 that we've had some kind of contact with. Would that be fair to say? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, we've we've uh, entered into uh, some of them with, with treaties, which you know is against the law unless the Congress ratifies them. That's that's part of the problem. And who signs these treaties? I mean, if Congress isn't ratifying them, is it, uh, what, uh, military agreements or what? Uh, some military, some uh, was done without... Um, knowledge of anyone other than like a president uh, president and his cabinet we have we have documents um, that uh, agreements that we enter into around this world that look very much like treaties and uh, they're not technically treaties they're called sofas are you familiar with those I certainly am all right, and for those of you who are not, um, let's say that we uh, are going to have some American troops in a country. That country is going to allow us to have American troops housed there, uh, uh, maybe a base there. And there is an agreement, and that agreement is between our military and their military, their government, and it, it outlines the terms of our military being there. It outlines what they can do, where they can go, and what they cannot do, and uh, how problems will be uh, uh, dealt with and adjudicated and so forth. Uh, and and it, that's, it's very much like a treaty, but it's not technically so. And I wonder if these agreements with um, uh, extraterrestrials are kind of like the SOFA agreements. They're not legal in any any way, shape, or form, okay, unless, like I said, that the Congress ratifies them and, and half. Uh, there are some, let, let's put it this way. There are some Congress members that are well aware of what goes on. And then there's the, the crowd that they don't even know about Area 51 because they're too tied up in trying to be reelected. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, of course, uh, I think we all know that there, you know, there's a certain number of folks in Congress that haven't seen fresh air in a long time. They got their heads someplace where there's not. Anyway, um, but uh, but there are some that are really sharp and and squared away and tuned in and turned on, and uh, give credit where credit is due. Um, these, uh, what's the purpose of these agreements? What what's the deal there? Why do we have agreements with these races? Well, the, the UFO story is still not out. I mean, you know, they have the government has not admitted that they do exist. Okay, uh, that I can find any place. I mean, uh, so why would they tell about agreements? I mean, uh, these are things that uh, that I found out when I when I joined the AlphaCom team that I wanted to find out about. Uh, because I had heard them rumored, you know, at that point, that, uh, that they had some treaties, and I wanted to see some basis of that. Yeah, but what's what's the purpose of having these treaties? I mean, what what's the deal? Uh, we we've got an agreement with them that uh, well, we was, let them land, or what? What? No, it, it was it was done for uh, technology purposes on our end to get the technology. Number one. And some of these groups entered into these things for abduction, and it got out of hand. What did they say was the purpose of the abduction? Uh, I really don't want to go into that. You know, that's, uh, right. that's something that's, um, you know, that's not out there in the public yet. So. Okay. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Uh, there are lots of people out there who have written 
uh, various articles about what they think is the reason. Have you seen any of those articles that got it right? I won't ask you to identify them. Okay, 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 okay. Then my... um what I have seen, I don't think they've got it right, okay, to this point. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So that means we've got a lot of work left to do for those of you that write about such things. Um, <clears throat> now, we've got about 70 of these groups out there. Um, we also have stories. Uh, and when I say stories, I mean that in the best sense of the word. We have reports from various people that uh, there are bases on this planet where certain extraterrestrials land, live, work, etc. Um, one of those uh, reports, one of those stories comes uh, from someone who's been on this show. Um, would that be accurate? Do we have that kind of close contact with some of these races? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I don't know who you were referring to. Uh, if you if you tell me, I'd tell you yes or no. Charles or, Hall. Or if you, who? Charles Hall. Very credible. Very credible. All right. And by the way, you know, uh, I had the privilege of meeting him in person. And uh, in person, he, he comes across even more credible than he does uh, on the radio. He comes across very credibly on the radio. But in person, where you can watch his eyes, he's, uh, he's even more so. Yeah. And, and the thing that I like about him, he tells the same thing over and over and over again. And usually if you find somebody that's not credible, they'll tell the story about five different ways. Oh, yeah, and it keeps getting bigger. Yeah. And yeah. more spectacular. <laughs> That's correct. Now, uh, in in your work with AlphaCom, uh, did you come across? Did you ever cr- come across information uh, uh, that uh, really disturbed you? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there were several things that disturbed me uh, uh, that that had to do with the government, but I'm not going to go into that that uh, ball of wax there. Mm-hmm. You know, not too long ago, just a few weeks ago, we had Dean Hagland on the show. He used to be, uh, he, he played a part in the X-Files. He was one of the uh, computer geniuses, one of the lone gunmen. Uh, and um, we were just talking about, you know, the, um, the way X-Files handled the topic. They didn't handle the topic as though it were tongue-in-cheek, ha-ha-ha, and ridicule. And um, he said that they were working from real UFO reports uh, to come up with their stories and uh, that they tried to make them as realistic as they could. Now, uh, a lot of people asked him, and I want to ask you, um, what about the X-Files? You see, there's a theory out there that the government has been using shows like the X-Files, not only the X-Files, but shows like that to leak information out, that in amongst the science fiction, there's some reality. Would that be, from, from your knowledge of this, would that be uh, accurate? Yes, and I'll go on before, uh, further than that. Uh, Dr. Wolf told me when the X-Files came on that that was probably as credible as we were going to get at the time. 